everybody. So this is Gia. Well, this is part of Gia's neck. <laughs> there's, there's her big ass nose. <laughs> I know. I know. You're away from your friends. <laughs> so this is uh, Gia. She's my yearling. She's uh, her birthday is April fifteenth. Um, and so next year she'll be. So she's like a year and a half now. So it's going to be the first time that I lunge her today. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> She actually, her name's Gia because it's short for giraffe because when uh, she was born, her legs were actually so long that she couldn't stand up. So um, she, this is um, a yearling. However, when you look at her in the video, you're gonna be like, uh, it's the biggest yearling I've ever seen. And that's probably true. But this is my big girl. <laughs> All right, we'll see how this goes. When it's good, it's amazing. When it's bad. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to voice over um, what I'm doing in the video. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I thought about trying to do this like while I was actually lunging her, but you know, like my mom asks me all the time, she's always like, so what do you think of their trot? And I'm like, or, or like when I'm, you know, lunging the baby horses and I'm like, honestly, I'm just trying to dodge legs at this point. Like, <laughs> like that seems like more successful than actually looking at what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing. Um, so anyway. Uh, as I said, this is Gia. Um, she is a year and a half, and this is um, her first time lunging. So, um, you know, basically, the whole point of today is just so that she walks in a circle. Um, there are a couple of concepts I want her to grasp. I want her to follow her, her head, which is following the connection to the lead line, which lunging is very much riding on the ground because the lead line is your reins and the whip is your leg so what you're and this is riding in a nutshell you are trying to send you're trying to push with your leg into the rein or into the contact which in this case is pushing her forward with the whip into the connection with um with the lunge line so so <laughs> right off the bat i will just say that one of the struggles that um yeah, uh, and I mean, besides the fact that it's a young horse and anything can happen <laughs> as you're watching. Um, one of the struggles is horses are essentially innately designed to, to run away from tension. And tension in their face specifically. Hang on one second. Bear, do you mind I'm trying to make a video? That's my dog. Um, <laughs> so horses are designed to run away from tension. So when they feel that connection in your hand, yep, see? <laughs> and you know, of course, like when it comes to the whip, like it's definitely a new concept. And um, you know, as she's walking around, like there is no sense of a circle. There is no, oh, <laughs> the camera fell down. Oh um, yeah, she got really scared of that. That was, <laughs> um, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset while uh, while I reset the camera. Hang on. <laughs> All right, we're we're off. We're getting back on the right track. So, um, essentially, baby horses are designed to um, to run away from tension, and in this case, the tension is going to come from the lunge line or from you know the contact and. Uh, what you need to do is you need to push them into that contact, but then also you need to have this, you know, perfect balance of um, a light contact with the with their mouth. Like, okay, so I'm speaking as if this is um, riding them, right? It's really just it's the same concept. It's just on the lunge line. So you want them to reach into the um, the contact of the lunge line, but then you also can't maintain too much of a tension, otherwise that's what's going to scare them away. So as you can see, I have a really light, um, I have a really light connection with her as she's lunging and I'm encouraging her to go forward. So 
um, she's, do, you know, right now I would say she's doing it very right. And, you know, you'll, you'll see me tap her with the whip because you do not want them to, I mean, you never want them to learn to run backward. That's like, <laughs> that'll never be a thing that a horse does ever, but you'll see me encourage her with the whip. Um, because I want her to, I want her to recognize tapping on the butt is not, you know, I'm not hitting her hard, but I want her to recognize that tapping on the butt is something, you know, that's something that's going to happen. And she does need to keep, that was a very good moment because as you saw, I hit her, she was looking away and then she chose to go forward, um, which is, which is exactly the point. And now, you know, um, after the camera fell down and she had her, her scary moment, um, as you can see, um, we're able to maintain a much more of a circle-like shape. Um, <laughs> you know, when you first lunge a horse, you're like, you're really not expecting them to, um, to maintain any kind of shape. You're just following them around and you're really more, like I said, all she needs to do is grasp the concept of, I hit you in the butt, which means you're going to go forward and you're going to go forward into the connection um, in my left hand or into the lunge line. And, you know, the other thing about the connection in the lunge line is you need them to come into that contact because eventually, like, you know, when she's trotting and cantering and everything, like your uh, baby moment. Hang on, Alyssa. <laughs> it's like flying a very dangerous kite. Um, and, you know, like moments like that, you know, happen. I, I've actually, this is the second horse I taught how to lunge. Um, and I, I actually think I might have video of teaching Tag how to lunge. Maybe not the first time, but, you know, like this was actually relatively tame for, um, for you know, first introducing this concept. <laughs> as I said, relatively. <laughs> And um, as you can see, as she was running across the arena, what she's really running from is, nope. so she spooks and then she hits the tension on that lunge line, which then creates more tension, which then causes her to run away faster from that tension that, you know, at that point, it's a, you know, it's a group effort on um, actually creating that tension. So it's not, um, you know, so, it's, it's definitely not, you know, it's not a her fault, my fault kind of thing. It's just what happens, you know. Um, and recognizing that um, that's, what she's, that's what she's running away from, you know, like at, at a certain point, like you have to, you, you just have to like hang on and survive. But um, the other piece of it is you want to be able to loosen that tension as soon as possible to be able to take it back. Does that make sense? So you want to be able to give them the tension so that you can then take it back and that they recognize that that you will give them like that that coming into the tension will also release the tension it's actually kind of a um a double standard kind of concept but you need to but you need to give and you know if you're for any riders out there yeah that was a that was a bad moment but you, you just show you just show her that you're not afraid of you know her and her antics <laughs> it's not the first time I've tried to um that they've tried to kick me that's a that's actually horse training in a nutshell is um you stand there voluntarily to uh have them try and kick you so that you can then smack them to tell them that that's not okay because if that moment never happens then there is nothing to say that they wouldn't go out into the world and be you know and not that a horse a horse will definitely try and kick you before they're five years old but say in a perfect unicorn universe a horse never tried to kick you before they were five years old was never told that was not okay there is nothing to stop that horse from not trying it later in life <laughs> and I, a five-year-old kick would hurt a heck of a lot more than a one-year-old kick, although these hurt just as bad as anything else. Um, so we'll just change direction. She did, she did exactly what I asked her to in terms of just grasping the general concept. She needed to walk in a circle. She needed to move away from the whip. And she needed to move into the connection on the lunge line. One of the reasons that I wanted to start this horse um, before it started raining, and this was a specific thought, is because when I first started working with her, she, um, she was the easiest horse I ever started working with. But as a result, she'd never really been in trouble. 
And so um, when the rain started, and she like, for whatever reason, she just lost her mind. <laughs> and um, the first time she was ever in a little bit of trouble, I mean, I didn't even say hell no, I just said, no, thank you. <laughs> um, she ended up like flipping over backwards and f freaking out to, a, you know, catastrophic consequences that no one could have foreseen. Um, no, so uh, no. I <laughs> wanted to get her started. <laughs> oh. Obviously, it's not a relative concept because with horses going each direction is um, is a brand new day. They don't, um, you know, after they after they learn a concept, they can carry it over. But the concept that she learned, she's going to carry over going to the left. You know, going to the right now, she's like, what? Like, you know, I may as well be asking her all over again. Um, so I, ex you know, it, when I'm standing in the middle there, I am expecting. Um, all the same trouble that I had going to the other direction, if not more. Um, one of the things that I realized, hindsight being 2020, is that she's actually left-handed. Um, so I, you know, it's a roll of the dice. What side, what direction I was going to start with? You know, like I didn't know. But um, as it turns out, she's actually um, horses are left-handed, right-handed. So as it turns out, she's actually <laughs> left-handed. So I started to the better direction, but literally just by luck. So as you can see there, um, it was a real, that was a really important moment because she created the tension. I let go of the tension and then I whipped her so that she would go move into the contact on the lunge line so that I could grab it again, you know, and it's not a, it's not a harsh connection, but it is a connection nonetheless. And sometimes it's good um, I think I'm gonna, yeah, <laughs> recollect myself um, because the lunge line, but sometimes it is good to just, with the baby horses, just give them a moment. And, uh, you know, as you can see, like, she's not, she's, you know, not afraid of me. She's not, she's not afraid of what we're doing. She, um, she's just, she just doesn't understand. Um, and, you know, one of the things with me is uh, I keep going until, until the concept is grasped grasped <laughs> if I could speak um, because you know it, it really is important for the horses to not um, be put away thinking that being being confused you know like at the end of the day <laughs> and yeah no so as you can see um, Never a dull moment when it comes to training horses, that's for sure. But, um, you know, as, so as you can see right now, I'm, I'm just taking an extra minute to, to make sure that her brain is paying attention to me. As I recall, it was pretty windy um, that day. And, uh, you know, and in addition to the fact that everything, like everything around her she was looking at, but... Um, but right now she's she's collecting energy in a sense that every time every time we pick back up and start over she's bouncing from where she had where she had left off from the the last time being that you know every time for the last you know five tries she's been getting you know more and more spooky not less and less so um one of the difficult parts um about teaching them how to go in a circle is they just nope. generally like <laughs> don't understand like lunging it, you know it, it's definitely not built into them and as you can see I'm, I'm taking the whip and I'm pushing her on the shoulder because um, you know they always want to come walk into you and you're like no you got to go over there <laughs> um, you know they spend so much time with you learning how to go forward and go backward and pick their legs up which is standing right next to you that for them uh, even being that far away from you is a foreign concept um, but she's you know as you can see she's grasping the concept a little bit better um, I am keeping um, a little bit more of a I lightened up there I am keeping more of a tense um, connection going this direction because as you can see she's she's spooking so um, you know I want to make sure that and as you can see right there, she was, it was really light. And then um, when I asked her to go forward, she, you know, obviously over-exaggerated that thought. Um, so I was able to take 
the tension. And that's the that's the important part is you want them to they they want to be in a light connection, but you have to be able to take the tension. Otherwise, you know, this whole <laughs> this whole this whole concept becomes a moot point. Um so uh when I whenever the whip is at her shoulder, it's because it's reminding her that she's not allowed to run into me, which okay, and of course when I say not allowed, you know, it's literally just the first time I've ever tell, like, told her, like, please don't run at me. <laughs> well, um, you know, in this con in this context, um, you know, like when you put them out in the arena, horses, uh, this is actually kind of a funny story. So um, one of the things about baby horses is um, when you spend so much time with them when they're young, they they tend to think, they don't know what you are, They but they do tend to think you're a horse. And so um, one thing that baby horses do is they they run they run around like bumper cars and they like they run into each other and um so when you're <laughs> when you're in the arena with them and they're running around all free and you know having a grand old time um and then they don't realize that you're not a horse they tend to attempt to treat you <laughs> like like a another horse and um Obviously, we are much more fragile than that. Uh, they're not quite as fragile. They can like run into each other and kick each other, and they'll live to tell about it. But um, for us, we, uh, you know, if a horse runs you over, that's a, it's not a good thing. So, um, you know, one of the things that you have to teach a horse is um, that you're actually a human, <laughs> and uh, you know, it comes with it comes with the territory of teaching them respect. So, as you can see, she's um, she's doing a lot better here. She's having a hard time not um, not coming in on the circle. Granted, you know, like I said, it's all it's all relative. She doesn't know any of this, so um, she is doing she's doing very well. And the fact that she's calmed down um, is promising. You know, um, at this point, I would say that she is developing the concept. She needs to walk forward into our connection, and she needs to do that. From from the whip, whether I hit it with hit her with it or whether I just wave it behind her, she basically needs to respond from the quote unquote leg and go into the contact um, on the lead line. And as you can see, I'm able to keep a pretty light connection. And when I need to grab um, to either keep her on the circle or keep her focused or you know insert problem here. Yep, that's about right. It looks about right. But um. As you can see, like she definitely developed the concept um, at the end there of moving away from the whip and into the um, into the connection on the lunge line. So uh, as you can see, I'm very sweaty, <laughs> and I guess uh, I'm going to talk to you in the arena now. Ironically, All right, see you guys next time. Ironically, I rode my my ten year old my ten year old Fuego today. And I'm sweating more after doing this than doing that. <laughs> oh, oh. It may just be walking, but I'll tell you what, dodging those kicks is a whole different ball game. Anyway, that actually went pretty well for her first time. Um, you know, there's, um, I, uh, I probably told you the story with the voiceover, but um, the reason that I wanted to get this one started as early as possible before it started raining is because uh, this one's brain, um, when she when she's locked in, she can't, she just doesn't think anymore. So um, I needed to get this concept in her head before um, before I was actually expecting her to like learn anything else besides just walking and, and circling. But uh, I, she actually did pretty well. So um, that was a very good first. That was a very good first try. And um, which it, fun for me. She there's a whole bunch of there are there's a bunch of bloopers. So uh, anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoy making these videos. For more videos by hashtag Team Fuego, subscribe and get those notifications so you can be notified every time we put up a new video. You can also follow us on social media.